All right, guys, today I'm going to talk to you about children that are riding and being competitive. Um, do you ever wonder how, when you see a child athlete, that they're really competitive and you can see them and they're competing with adults that have been riding for so long? How much training is involved to get a child to be able to ride? Uh, what kind of horse do, are they going to need? Um, today I will talk to you about exactly what it's going to take to get that child athlete all the way from beginning learning to ride all the way to a competitive level. Um, let's look at the importance of parental support. So when the parents are involved, you really need to have parents that are really going to dedicate their time. It's a lot of time and money and effort to get a child hauling down the road. Um, they, it's really important that they come for weekly lessons, that they need to practice you know, five days a week without an instructor, and it's a lot of money to keep a horse to the cost of weekly lessons, which can range from like 50 to you know, 75 bucks an hour. And it's really important because the parent has to haul the children all over the place. So you might be going for an hour or two hours and, you know, away to get them to the events that they need to go every week. Once you think about the time and money that's involved with parents, you need to focus on the importance of lessons. So regular training sessions are going to be really important because this is what's going to keep the child consistent. Um, the benefit of weekly lessons is that you're, you're able to stop a problem before it starts. Um, the benefit of the trainer riding a horse, a lot of times when kids are riding a horse all the time, they're going to have a lot of problems. Their horses are going to be a little bit harder in the mouth or a little heavier to ride. And you need that trainer to get on and keep that horse working. The fact of it is, is that a kid is not going to be able to keep that horse tuned up and working because they're simply not strong enough. Once you have a plan, your trainer can catch problems that are coming and you can prevent a lot of stuff from happening later on and keep that kid going in the right direction. A lot of times it's really tough with the parents because a lot of them aren't horse people and so you're having to educate the parents as well as educate the children and you need to let the parents know you know what they need to do to make sure their children are doing the correct things during the week. Um, and then you can see on my slide here this is a picture of a mom and her daughter and they're winning. If this is a winning run and that mom goes to all the shows and hauls that child everywhere. So. Um, the next thing that you need to do is find a horse for a child and the hardest thing about finding the right horse is making sure that it's a match. You need a horse that's going to be pretty automatic because children are going to be able to pull them around or you know, do a lot of things or keep one trained up. It needs to be something that's almost finished or finished. It's been hauled a little bit so that it's not spooky or you're not having any problems there. It's really important that your trainer comes to evaluate the horse because when your trainer comes they can catch any problems that you as a parent might not know. Um, another thing that's really important is making sure that the child and the horse get along. If you have problems, sometimes they just have personality clashes and that can cause a lot of problems later down the road. Once you find the right horse, you'll be ready to put all those steps together. Helping your child reach their goals with horseback riding is going to be an easy thing as long as you have a trainer, you have the right horse, and you stick to your weekly lessons. Um, that's one of the things that's going to make sure that your child really succeeds and once you get a team in place you'll be ready to hit the rodeo road.